What's good everybody on YouTube? This is your boy Akil McLeod back with another video and today I'm going to share 15 of the oldest items in my Poshmark closet. Now I actually got this idea from Courtney over at Common Tag. She's a fellow reseller so check out her channel. I'll put a link in the description so you guys can see her original video. But I thought this was a dope video idea because of course I showed the what so videos and the stuff that I picked up. But the stuff that kind of sits for a very long time, I usually donate some of those items or I will try to trade them back into places like Play-Doh's, Buffalo Exchange, or even Crossroads. But some stuff I hold on to because I'm kind of stubborn and I think the price is good and it's a quality item. So I don't try to trade everything in because sometimes you just got to wait. But these items have been sitting for a very long time and I might as well just share some of these pieces with you guys so that maybe you guys won't pick up these items or just list them differently and just try to make better decisions than what I did with them. So if you guys are interested in these videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and without further ado, let's get into it. Alright y'all, so first up is this pair of Meslin Havana loafers. Now, when it comes to Meslin shoes, these don't sell very quickly, but as long as they're in decent condition, they will sell. But the thing with these shoes is that they sold once for me on eBay, and they got returned because the buyer simply changed their mind. So I relisted these on Poshmark and as you can see there are some minor scratches and scuffs but for the most part these shoes are in pretty good condition but I've had these for well over six months at this point. So I probably won't pick up Havana loafers or like tassel loafers or any type of loafers in uh, that Meslin brand anymore. I'll probably stick to some of their lace up shoes instead because I have sold some Meslin shoes for a decent amount of profit. Next is this pair of Loa hiking shoes. Now Loa is a uh, a brand that I was not familiar with when I first picked these up and probably for good reason because these have been sitting in my inventory for at least uh, five maybe six months at this point and I figured they would have sold a long time ago because hiking shoes are selling uh, fairly quickly for me at this point but these have been sitting around so I'm not sure um, if I'll pick this brand up in the future but I'm not gonna try to donate these or even trade them in for that matter because places like Buffalo Exchange aren't interested in these shoes so we'll just uh, just wait I might lower the price again and just wait until the right buyer finally comes along next is a pair of New Balance fresh foam sneakers and New Balance shoes usually sells uh, fairly quickly for me um, it doesn't always sell for a ton of profit but this particular style has just been sitting for well over six months and I'm only asking 19 bucks and these shoes are really in good condition so I'm not sure what exactly is the problem with these shoes the photos to me look pretty good so it probably just might be the the style so some New Balance fresh foams I know the 1080 sell for a decent amount of profit but these in particular these are just the fresh foam trainers these probably aren't as popular next is this pair of soft science boat shoes and just from looking at these pictures, I know that I cross-listed these directly from eBay because they are a little blurry, but I don't even think that has much to do with why this didn't sell. It's really this color. This lime green color is terrible. I don't know what I was thinking, but um, I've sold soft green, soft cyan shoes in the past for like 30 to 40 bucks, and these, uh, I've had them so long, I've even lowered it to 20 bucks, and they're still not moving. So this is something I might end up having to redonate because I know... Uh, some of those uh, consignment shops wouldn't be interested in this. Next is a pair of Nike Dunk Lows and I picked these up because I, I heard that Nike Dunks and SBs were starting to trend a little more so I picked these up and I think I paid 10 bucks for these and I assumed that they would sell a lot faster than they did but these have been sitting for a very long time so I might just go ahead and lower the price on these or I might just uh, take some fresh photos and then just wait for the right buy to come along. But 39 might be a little too much for these and that's why they're sitting for so long. So if you guys come across these Nike Dunk Lows, still pick them up because they usually sell. But this particular colorway probably just isn't popular. Next up is this pair of Saucony Run Anywhere shoes. And this is probably the lowest priced item in my entire Poshmark closet because I've had these shoes for well over a year and they've just been sitting. So um, when, you, when it comes to these Saucony shoes, I don't usually pick them up. This was one of the first things that I picked up you know, when I was still fairly new to reselling and the photos aren't as good. The quality overall just isn't as good and this background is terrible, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure this is something that um, if I came across this again, I probably would not pick this up. So I suggest you guys just learn from my mistake and just pass on these sneakers if you ever come across them in the thrifts. Next up is this Michelin S Miami t-shirt and I picked up a bunch of these uh, 
Mitchell and Ness t-shirts from the Goodwill at one day. They were all brand new with tags and it was probably 12 of these that I picked up from various different teams and I'm down to about three or four left. So this wasn't a terrible buy overall because I made some decent profit, but it's just some of these uh, teams that's just taken a while to sell. And this next one is also, also came from that haul. This is actually an Adidas t-shirt. This one wasn't Mitchell Ness, but it was also brand new with tags and it was a sample t-shirt. So I was thinking it would be a little rare Maybe somebody from North Carolina State or an alum might appreciate this, but I just didn't get the right buyer yet. So I might lower the price on this again because I did get a couple likes on this shirt, but usually likes really don't mean much on Poshmark. Next is this World Jerseys Lucky Labrador uh, cycling jersey. And cycling jerseys usually sell pretty well for me, just not this one. I've had this one in my uh, Posh closet for maybe a year now. And if this one doesn't sell by the end of the summer, I'll probably just redonate this to Goodwill because it's been sitting for a very long time. And the consignment shops, they usually don't take these type of stuff. So this was just a bad buy. Next is this vintage CFL t-shirt. And these uh, vintage t-shirts were definitely trending. They're still trendy. I just think the one I have right now, no one's really interested in a Canadian Football League t-shirt. So I had this for listed for 19 bucks. Still no offers. Uh, maybe just two likes on this shirt so not not a ton of interest either so this is something I might uh, try to take to a Buffalo exchange and see if they they're interested just because it's vintage and single stitch but um something like this I'll probably pass on the next time I come across it next is this Kata uh, camera bag and I usually would post something like this on eBay but the the shipping cost on that would be very expensive so I decided to put it up on Poshmark instead and I have a decent amount of likes on it, so there's, I guess, some interest, but I think my price might be a little too high. So I'll try lowering the price, and hopefully it sells that way. But if not, I'll try to sell this at my garage sale, because I do plan on having one soon, just to kind of lighten up the house and just get rid of some stuff. Uh, not necessarily to make a ton of profit, but just to like get rid of some stuff. So this might be one of it. Next is this Kensington laptop bag. And Kensington is just a, a lower end laptop bag. So this was just a bad buy as well. I probably shouldn't even have picked this one up. But I saw the comps on eBay. And I think at the time there was one that sold for a decent amount of profit. So I took a chance on it. But if I came across this again, I definitely would not uh, buy this. I had this for over a year as well. And this is something that... Um, you guys can learn from just pass on these Kensington bags especially this one the Kensington contour stay away next is this just Cavalli uh, t-shirt and this is a high-end brand um, it I thought it would sell since it was more of like a designer t-shirt and the only flaw with this one was the fact that the thrift store I got this from they actually put a staple in the collar to put the size tag on there so this that's the only flaw on this shirt at the end of the day just cavalli just isn't selling for me next up is this true religion varsity jacket and not to say true religion is still popular or trending or anything like that but in my opinion i thought this jacket was dope and i'm from brooklyn and it has a lot of brooklyn uh, patches on here so i thought this would be a good sale but it's been sitting for a while and i got some offers it's just been all like low ball offers people that have been asking like 30 and 40 bucks and that's just uh, not worth my time for this jacket so hopefully it might sell when the season changes and people are um, back to picking up jackets and stuff like that but um, I just gotta wait for the right buyer to come along and last but not least is this pair of red wing leather boots now the thing with these boots I've had these for maybe going on eight months at this point I believe I picked this up the same day I got those uh, green Gucci loafers for like 60 bucks and I flipped those for 300 so uh, 360 bucks on eBay actually so this was a good haul overall and these boots were supposed to be a, a, a huge sale point for me but I think I may have have these listed for too much money so I might lower the price on these just a little bit so we'll see how long it takes but Red Wing is definitely a brand to be on the lookout for because their boots and their shoes usually sell for a ton of profit but I might just be reaching when it comes to my price point because 239 might just be way too much all right y'all so before i get out of here i just wanted to address these mystery boxes that people have been sending comments about it's been about four or five people that dropped a comment and asking about these so what i'm gonna do is do a very limited run on these mystery boxes and probably limit it to about 10 because to be realistic with you guys i can always just resell a lot of these items and just make the full profit 
but I do think it'll be a good idea to just kind of give back and just share the wealth since a lot of you don't have access to good thrift stores and good garage sales and flea markets and yard sales. So it's just going to be a very limited run and I'm going to create a website and have it done by the end of the week. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you have your post notifications on. That way when I upload a video to announce it, you guys will be the first to know about it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Interest rate is lower, ain't it? Beside the auction, 